Hi, my name is Sherbel, and today we are on the video number two on how to use the business rules module. In this video, I will show you how to send email where an event will occur. Let's say, for example, we want to send email to the author of an article when he saves his own article. So, let's go to configuration, workflow, business rules. First of all, we have to create the action to send the email. So click on the actions tab. And then add action. Here you can choose from the select list the type of action you like. In our case, we will choose send email and then hit the continue button. You will have to give the action uh, a label and description. Please remember that the label and description are only used for references. I will give the, the action label of send email and description send email action. Also you may, uh, you may like to add some tags here for the action but in my case I will not add any. Then hit the save button. Now the page will refresh and the new fields related to the new email will appear. Scroll down and here you will find the new fields. You have now the subject, the use site mail as sender, the to and message text box. Let's start with the subject. Subject is the subject of your email. We will put this is a test subject. Under the use site mail as sender here, you can choose yes for using the default email for the website, which you have chosen it when you installed the site, or you can choose no to write down any other email address you like. For the sake of this tutorial, I will keep it by default the yes option, but I will show you if you can, if you like, you can choose the no option and the new text box will appear inside this text box you can uh, put whatever email uh, you like but for now I will keep it as yes now under the two option write down the email address of the person you want to send this email to but since we want to send uh, this email to the article author we will have to use variable inside this field so scroll down and find the available variables for this context click on it we have by default two available variables uh, that come shipped with this uh, module. We will be using one of them which, which is current users. We'll click, click here to see the entity fields available for this variable and we will have to find the email. So we uh, use current underscore user slash mail. Ctrl C to copy, close the dialog and paste it inside the two. After that, under the message option, write down your message. For example, your article title has been saved. Comma, please follow this link to check it out but you will be asking yourself from where I have to take the link and the title of the article we can use the token to, to find the link and the uh, title of this article so here you can see click here to see all available tokens click on it if for some reason you don't uh, find this link available for you this means that you don't have the token mo module uh, installed on your website so now here on this uh, pop-up dialog we have all available tokens for our website so we have to find the nodes and under the nodes scroll down find the title node title ctrl c to copy it and also we need to use the url node url close the dialog now here besides of your alti your article title and copy uh, sorry paste the note title 
and also here we have to add the token of the URL link so node URL when you finish scroll down and hit the save button so now if we go to the actions we will be taking uh, we will be going back now to the actions tab here all the actions available for our website are listed here in our case we have only one action created which is this one send email okay the last part is to create the rule and add the created action to it because now the actions on its own is nothing it can do nothing for us so we have to go to the rules tab add rule and then from the select list you have to 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 select the event so react on event we will choose before saving entity and hit the continue button also here we should uh, give the, this rule label and description I will give before saving entity and description I will give it reacts before save the entity scroll down you can give it also tag for this uh, rule in this uh, area here the compact we want to choose the target entity type yeah we have to uh, to select which entity we are targeting now so we can choose comment contact uh, message content custom block file all all these are entities on our website but for in our case we have to choose uh, the content so we are targeting the content and the, bund the bundle related to this content will be article and save also the page will uh, refresh, refresh and the new fields will appear this new field will allow us to add actions and conditions for our role in our case we have to add the action uh, send email which we created earlier in this uh, tutorial so click on add action link and also on this dialog pop up dialog all available actions will be listed here but since we have only one action so we can see it only one action so go ahead and click the send email to add this action to our rule so here is our rule and here is the action to be triggered when this event occurs okay now before saving the rule I would like to remind you about the flow chart uh, and, and actually I want to show uh, for you the flow chart in action if you remember in video number one of this series I asked you to install the MX graph library and because of this library now we will have a visual graph for every rule we create showing use showing how to use this rule or showing how the, this rule is going to be used so let's go to the graph here in the flow chart if it's closed you can open it and it's showing you that before saving entity arrow down what will happen send email usually the graph will come more in handy when you are building a complicated rule with plenty of conditions and actions okay for now hit the save button and our rule is saved if you go back to the business rules uh, page here you will find the rule which we, we just save it now let's say you like to disable this rule but not delete it you can go to the operation here and then disable this rule if you click on disable this rule this rule will remain on your website but it will not be functional anymore so now let's uh, go ahead and test uh, our rule go to content add content article I will give the title this is a test article I will I will leave everything as as it is and hit the save button
the article has been saved everything went smoothly and obviously we didn't have any errors but actually I cannot show you that the email has uh, indeed been uh, sent to the author email because I am using now my local host and in local host you cannot uh, use the Drupal website to send email this will be all for this video see you on the next one and have a good day bye bye